Edie was born Eduardo. She was born male. Now it's really strange looking at her as a boy. It doesn't seem right at all. When did you learn what transgender was? The media told me. She said that I was transgender and I asked her what that means and she said that means you're half boy and half girl. I think I'm mostly a girl. I'm a queen. Because of my experience in life, you know, I now am a non-binary person, I feel like, okay, I have an opportunity here now to try and do what I wish someone had done for me. Okay, ready? Good morning, guys. Every day after school, yeah, they had dinner is together. It's complicated with the four kids because if you try to sit down, myself and Anna try and sit down and eat at the same time, it's just pure mayhem. I'm Anna. And I'm Jonathan. We've been married for 11 years. We have four children, six dogs. Our house is basically insane. We've got Amelia, who is nine. Edie is eight. Alessia is five. And Andrea is almost four. So Edie was born Eduardo. She was born male. She has always been more attracted to stereotypical girl toys or girl things. Ever since she could basically dress herself, she wanted to wear her older sister's clothes or she wanted to wear dress up dresses, which I completely embraced because I just felt like that was normal. Is this what you've chosen to wear today, Eduardo? Yeah. I remember she said, just so innocently, I can't wait to go to reception because then I can wear the dress like Amelia. And I remember thinking, oh God, what do I say in this mm. situation? She's not going to wear a dress, she's a boy. So this picture here is of Edie when she was Eduardo and she would often, like we said, dress up in Emilia's little costumes. So she's in a little mermaid costume and she was about, I would say, three there, probably Andrea's age. And then beside it is an image of her on her birthday, her most recent birthday, so her eighth birthday, which was a mermaid theme. So she's like living her best life now, but it's so funny to look back and see how that was her all along. We just didn't realize it. Welcome to my room. My name's Edie and I'm eight. When did you learn what transgender was? The media told me. She said that I was transgender and I asked her what that means and she said that means you're half boy and half girl and I said okay. I think I'm mostly a girl. We hit lockdown and that was when she decided that she wanted to start wearing girl clothes outside of the house and then by the time she went back to school and schools reopened again she fully decided because mm. we were a bit apprehensive at the beginning that she wanted to wear the girl uniform. Mm. I'm a queen. I was terrified, mm. but I remember when I picked her up from school that first day, I said, so how did it go with the dress? And she kind of looked down and she was like, oh, I forgot I was even wearing it. Mm. And I was like, oh, how great of an experience. Like a dress. But it was probably a few months ago that she decided to change her name. Hi, I'm Edie. Some people say you're not allowed to change your name, you're too young. I've heard people say that before. It doesn't make me very happy, but I try to ignore them. The internet has opened her eyes to the fact that there are a lot more little girls out there like her. Once I was watching TikTok and I saw a mum and a little boy and he looked like a boy, but she was explaining how he wanted to be a girl. We started making TikTok videos and we started like sharing more because she was so unhappy and she had no role models. So I was like, right, we're gonna create that representation. We're gonna show the world that just because you're at the time a boy who chooses to express yourself as a girl, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a bad thing. I'm not like other boys. I'm a girl. This is all my dresses and I wear this for my party, which is my favourite because it has loads of like layers like this and I like how it sleeves her. I like how they're off the shoulder like that and all the sequins are pretty like mermaid. My mermaid party.
thankfully most of the negativity has come from online which I don't really view as real because it's not said to your face it's it's different and we're quite used to that but I guess a lot of the things that we've been told are that Jonathan has forced Edie to decide to be a girl or that we're trying to get her to do that to somehow gain fame or notoriety in some way. All right. Let's do this. With Edie's situation, it's like, because of my experience in life, you know, I now am a non-binary person, I feel like, okay, I have an opportunity here now to try and intervene and try and do what I felt that like I wish someone had done for me. I grew up in a conservative country of Ireland and even at three years old, I knew I was not a cisgendered normal person. I, I felt different, I felt other. And there was just, there was no way anyone was going to kind of accept me for the way I was. You know, I've been mislabeled like most of my life. I've been called gay for most of my life. It's only in the last few years, I sort of took the time during the pandemic and then I decided I would write my book and tell my story because Edie was strong enough and brave enough to tell her story. It took, you know, 40 years for me to kind of, you know, come to the circle with myself. But that was one of the big ones I noticed with her. It was like, wow, it's like, she doesn't need that, you know, anymore. And she can, she has friends. She's probably our most popular child, you know, in terms of school and, you know what I mean? She's just so happy. Okay, ready? Good morning, guys. It's, it's just, it's so like, I don't know what next year is gonna be like, you know? I don't know, is hormone therapy where we're gonna go? It's ED-led journey, you know, and what can we hope for the future for all of my children? That they have a good life and they are happy and they make the decisions that they want to make. I'm a girl! If ED at 15 turned around to us and decided she wanted to be Eduardo again, I'd be like, sure. But now you've shown the other three siblings and yourself that no matter who you are, your parents are going to love you. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story, it is my truth.